The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Depending on where you are, we're going to wait another 30 seconds or so for folks to make their way into our webinar. And the depending on where you are is whether you're waiting for morning or afternoon. It is my privilege to ask you to answer a couple of quick poll questions. And we will be able to share the answers to these questions as well. Not only do organizers and panelists not vote, but we don't count either. Welcome to our holiday prep webinar. Uh, today is October 28th, 2021, uh, and it is uh, my privilege to first make sure that everybody's computer audio is working. There are dial-in numbers and alternative ways to hear this webinar. It is being recorded. Uh, we will send a link out about it tomorrow, Friday. Um, a couple of housekeeping things, but Unlike a, uh, a real person webinar, we don't have to show you where the exits are. Uh, with that, uh, it is my privilege to introduce uh, today's speaker, uh, Kimberly Logan, uh, who knows more about uh, iGive and how to use it and how to uh, market it than anybody I can think of. Kimberly, it's all yours. Thank you very much. Bob. Hello, everyone. Uh, it looks like we've got a lot of new folks, so hopefully you will find this information useful, and uh, it may create more questions just because you'll learn all of the wonderful things that are possible. Um, I will try and get through everything quickly, but also uh, feel free to ask questions, and if we answer them along the way, that's great, and if not, we have plenty of time at the end uh, for a Q&A. This webinar should take about half an hour. So thank you so much for joining us. And thank you for participating in our polls. That helps us to uh, better serve you today and in the future. So 
what we will be covering are basically basic shopping, how you shop through iGive to support your cause, um, new tools to help you promote iGive and your cause. Uh, one of the best ways to earn bigger donation checks through iGive is if you have more people shopping for your cause. So we want to give you, we want to empower you with those tools to um, build that, that audience and that partnership. We have recently begun doing some video tours of things, so that's our new learning opportunities, and we also have a bonus donation opportunity. So let's get started. This is our member logged in homepage. So as, or I'm sorry, this is where you log in to iGive. So if you're not a member already, this is where you would join. So as you're telling people about iGive, this is what they will see. Uh, when they visit igive.com. We need a first name, a last name, an email, and you need to create a password. And it helps if we have your zip code. Once you give us that information, you'll select the cause that you are hoping to support and shop uh, for that cause. If you are already a member and you come to the iGive uh, site, you can click on that member sign in and it'll ask again for your email and password to access the member homepage. Oh, I, did I skip ahead? Nope. Okay. So on the member homepage, we have uh, what we call the eyebrow, which has our menu of things that you can do. But essentially, what you can do from the home page is start shopping. Uh, you'll see the name of the store by its logo for all of our partner stores. That's how we list them. And the amount of the donation that is generated. So if I were to go to coastal.com and order my contacts for the year, 2% uh, of whatever I spent at coastal.com would be generated as a donation for my cause. Uh, and the way that we send checks is monthly once you reach a $25 minimum. So uh, the, again, the more shopping and the more people shopping, the faster those checks can uh, add up and get sent out. These here on the homepage are my favorites. This little red heart, uh, because it's red, I've indicated that it is a favorite store. Throughout the site, you'll see the heart is empty. And if I click on that heart, it would then become one of my favorite stores. So if you shop at uh, the same place frequently and you want to get there quickly from your iGive homepage, that's a really great way to, to uh, indicate that. I actually have more than four favorite stores. And so if I were to click on this little greater than symbol, I would be taken to my whole list of favorite stores. I can also shop by featured offers, which are some of these stores here. And if I scroll down a little bit on that page, you'll see our current weeks sort of uh, seasonal. Right now, Halloween is, is what we are highlighting. Uh, obviously, in a few days, that'll change out to our Thanksgiving offers. And for, again, this greater than symbol will take me to the Halloween category. Uh, further down, we have stores that are participating in what we call distinctive donations. So from time to time, and for a limited time, the stores that we partner with offer a higher donation rates. Uh, so we highlight those here on the homepage, also on their own distinctive donations page, which you can get to by clicking that little greater than sign. Uh, but we will let you know what the store normally offers and how long the special rate is in place. Uh, right now, I'm excited about Uncommon Goods. They have some really cool gift opportunities and they have a double donation, uh, looks like through next week. So if you're looking for a unique holiday gift, uh, Uncommon Goods may be a good place to start and you can benefit your cause as well. So you can shop via the homepage or, or any of these categories that you can get to with these greater than symbols. But what one thing we highly recommend is installing the iGive button onto your laptop 
or desktop browser. Uh, that way, if you're shopping pretty much anywhere out in the wild of the internet, you can still make sure that your cause is benefiting. Uh, it's The button is our name for what is called a browser add-on or extension. And what it does is it anonymously tracks when you have reached an iGive partner store. So if you were uh, shopping, if you went to uh, Uncommon Ground directly and didn't find it from our website, if you have the iGive button installed, you would get a message letting you know that they are a partner store. That way you can easily remember, never forget, always support. Uh, a great side benefit of the iGive button, another thing that it does, is if you are on a search engine like Google or Bing, the, the browser add-on, the button, will actually indicate when a store is part of iGive with our little dandelion seed icon. That So our uh, iGive logo is a little dandelion seed. And some people think it looks like an upside down umbrella, but I really love the, the image of that little kid making a wish, a, a dandelion and that seed just sort of floating out into the world. So that is our dandelion seed logo. And as you can see here, I did a search on Google for personalized photo gifts. Uh, apparently I used the British spelling for personalized. That's interesting. <laughs> I didn't even realize I did that. Uh, and a couple of stores that did show up as I give partner stores, we have Shutterfly. And not only do we indicate that it is an I give partner store, but we also tell you again, right there what the donation rate is for that store personalizationmall.com is an iGive store. It looks like they're offering 4%, as is vistaprint.com. So with the button installed, you get these indicators. And if you click on that icon, it will take you directly to Shutterfly and uh, track that purchase for your cause. Hey, Kim, we have a question from Jennifer who says, okay, so I see that there's 4% donation at Vistaprint and Personalization Mall. Am I paying more in order for there to be a 4% donation? No, that is a great question. I give is free for members and causes, and all of the funding for the donations comes from uh, stores. So Shutterfly, Personalization Mall, Vistaprint, all of the stores on I give uh, pay essentially with their marketing budget so that you don't have to pay more, but because you came through iGive with the intention of purchasing and supporting your cause, they are willing to pay for you to shop at their site. Hope that answered the question. Uh, if you ever do see a price difference, do let us know uh, as soon as possible because that is absolutely not the agreement that we have with the stores. Um, Additionally, you may save more money because you went through iGive. This little dollar sign symbol next to the dandelion seed indicates that at those stores, at least, there are coupons, offers, or promo codes that will work in conjunction with iGive. Now, because we do have a partnership with the stores and they have other partnerships elsewhere, you do have to ensure that you're only using coupons, offers, and codes that are uh, available through iGive, or it could um, cancel the donation opportunity. So it's real easy to know if it came from iGive because you have the button installed and you clicked on that little dollar sign, or because you went to the iGive website and that's where you found the promo code. If it doesn't come from one of those places, it may invalidate the donation. So let me show you one more thing the button does. If you were to go to a website directly, uh, rather than through that search page, uh, you can search, you know, if you typed in Macy's.com, Macy's is an iGift partner store. Uh, but di since you didn't start at a search page or at iGive.com, 
what that I give button does is it slides in this message that again shows our, our dandelion logo, tells you the donation rate, and asks you to activate the I give button. This way, Macy's knows that even though you didn't start at iGive.com, you still want your cause to benefit from your Macy's shopping. And that will uh, track, again, to your cause. Another place where you can see the promo codes and offers that are available through iGive is once you've clicked that activate, this is for Shutterfly, this little triangle that says I give on will appear on the website that you just clicked activate for. And when you click on that I give on, we will display for you over the store's website all of the exceptions and offers and promos. So for Shutterfly, again, there's that 0.8% donation. And they have uh, one, two, three, it looks like we've got four current coupons or offers that will work with iGIF. So if you were to pick up to four free gifts with your order and use the coupon code TREATS, it looks like it expires today, so you have to act quickly, then you would not only get those free gifts from Shutterfly, but your cause would get uh, a donation at 0.8% based on what you spent. Now, just a quick caveat, that donation rate is always based on the order total before any shipping and handling or taxes. So it, it's what some people would call the subtotal. Uh, it's also after any discounts. So if you were to save 5%, then the donation rate would apply to whatever the total is after those savings have been calculated. So that is the how you shop with iGive and how we recommend you shop with the iGive button. If you're not on a desktop or laptop, we do have apps for your mobile phone or tablet that are available uh, via the Google Play or Apple App Store, but that is essentially how shopping works. If there are no questions at this point, I will move on to how you promote I give to uh, to your friends and family. We're good. Move on forward. Excellent. So once logged in to I give, again, this sort of menu eyebrow at the top is where you're going to go to navigate to where you want to do what you want to do, whether it's sh uh, search the stores where you want to shop or uh, review your favorite stores. those That's where we're starting. We're going to skip over to cause. And when you click on cause, you'll see the cause toolbox. So one of our poll questions was, are you a cause administrator? And essentially what the cause administrator is, is the person with um, access to the causes higher level details. So a cause administrator, uh, we need to have a cause administrator that we can email and contact regarding checks, where they are sent, and um, when they will be sent, so that we make sure that the money is going to the right place. If you are not the cause administrator, you can still do a lot of promoting to your friends and family, but we do have a couple of things set aside for the cause administrator that uh, is essentially managing the cause. So they can, they can review old checks, they can change the mailing address, they can view a list of supporters for the cause via iGive, when you become a member, you actually give that permission or not, and you can change it at any time as a member in your settings. So as a member, what we want you to do most is tell friends about iGive so that they can also shop in the ways that we explained, and those checks that we send can be bigger and more frequent. 
the most recent addition we have made to the cause toolbox is our join link QR code. So if you recall the home page, the login, I'm going to go back to it one second, if I can get my pointer to stop being a pointer and be a mouse again. So when you are joining iGive, after we've received your information, it says down here that the next step will be to choose a cause. If your cause has a join link, instead of there being a two-step process, this page automatically recognizes that you are representing a specific cause. My cause is a theater company, and so our join link is igive.com slash proboscis, which is the name of the theater company. Uh, and if I were to go to that site instead of igive.com without that slash proboscis, I would have to choose my cause. Because we have a join link, that cause is already selected. So it sort of, it takes away one of the extra steps. Uh, I've lost, there it is. Um, so we highly recommend that you, you create a join link and then use that join link in any way possible. So the option to create a join link is right here on number two. And then once you do, you can create a join link QR code. So we got this idea after visiting some restaurants and realizing that everywhere we were going, you needed to scan a QR code to access the menu. And we thought as folks were starting to come back into in-person board meetings and club meetings and uh, sending out physical materials that having a QR code to help people join iGive for your cause might be useful. So essentially what you can do once you've clicked on join QR code, or I'm sorry, join link QR code is right click on that image. Uh, if you, or if you're on Mac, I believe it's a control click and save that image to share it anywhere that you might share about your fundraising efforts and especially about iGive. It can be posters or flyers or uh, any physical mailings that you might be doing. In addition to that new QR code option, there are a variety of tools that you as a member or the cause administrator can use to encourage friends and family to, uh, to join. We have banners and logos that you can put on a website or on your Facebook page. We have blurbs and ads that you can put in that newsletter. Um, and we suggest that you like us on Facebook, which brings me to another bonus. I put these in a different order, so I'm just going to skip ahead to our current bonus opportunity and we'll come it's back it's the fun it, it's it is the fun of having a live presentation <laughs> yes yes it is i i didn't think it through initially but as i'm saying it it makes a lot more sense to tell you about facebook and our current pay it forward bonus opportunity so we um we are offering and Feel free to jump in if you'd like, Rob. Uh, we are offering a bonus donation for folks who share a story with us on our Facebook page. So that's facebook.com slash I give. If you go and you create a post on our page and tell us a story about how you have paid it forward or you have been the recipient of someone paying it forward, or you have witnessed someone paying it forward. Uh, so a couple of weeks ago, uh, I'm standing in line at a coffee shop um, because I'm going to go up and, and see a doctor. And, and to give a little bit of background, I'm six foot six, and uh, I, I'm I'm 
older than many. So I'm in line and I can see in this coffee shop how to navigate uh, the various uh, lines that there were because this is still pandemic times and, and uh, coffee shops aren't as efficient as they used to be. And in front of me was somebody who I think would describe herself as a little old lady. Uh, gray hair, a cane, and she's having a, a bit of a challenge figuring out where to stand so she can buy a single cup of coffee. I have the advantage of being able to see over everything, and I say, you know, go here, go there, and, and for 45 seconds or so, we chat. We get up to the cash register, and she buys me a cup of coffee. Um, that doesn't happen ever in my life, and it happened that day, and, and I said thank you, and I uh, sort of protested, and she said, no, 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 pay it forward. So to some little old gray-haired lady, silver-haired lady, uh, in Chicago three weeks ago, we are doing our darndest to pay it forward. Excellent. Yes, I thought it was a great story and a great idea. And essentially, the way we are paying it forward is when you, when our iGive members share a story to our Facebook page, we're choosing one. Um, the frequency of how often we'll choose one is going to depend on how many stories we get. But just today, we chose one from a member, Mary, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, Thomason. Uh, and are sharing it from our page. So essentially, when you create your post, it goes to the community page on Facebook. But the home page is where everyone who comes to iGive on Facebook can see the story. So we're sharing the story, as you can see, and we're also donating a $25 bonus donation to the iGive members charity of choice, which in this case is the Jewish community of Sedona and the Verde Valley. So essentially you to be to qualify for this bonus, all you have to do is share a story by creating a post on facebook.com slash igive. And then be on the lookout for a message in Facebook because we'll have to confirm who you are <laughs> so that we can process that bonus donation. And when you post, it'll appear in this community tab. So if you wanna see some of the other stories that we have already received and just sort of revel in the kindness of everyone that um, has shared, that might be a, a good way to scroll for a few minutes. I know that I have definitely enjoyed uh, reading uh, all of the stories as they come in. Um, so that is our current bonus opportunity. And just really quickly before we get to the question and answer section, I want to direct you to our newest uh, learning opportunities, support.igive.com is the best place to go for all of your questions and concerns about iGive. We have member frequently asked questions uh, regarding shopping specifically, technical support for our button. We have cause information. Uh, and we also recently just added uh, some video tutorials. So if you're having trouble logging in as a cause administrator, I believe that's a three minute video that we, we walk you through uh, that process. Uh, if you want more details about the I Give button, I think that's about a five or six minute video, and it'll just more clearly explain what an extension is and what it does and how to get it. And uh, a deeper dive into that cause toolbox. Uh, so you can get that through support. And if you ever have a question that is not answered, you can submit a ticket for help and we will respond as quickly as possible. Or you can also visit the iGive YouTube channel where those videos are also housed and where we will be sharing the, the recording of this webinar. So if you wanted to go back and watch this or catch a few uh, highlighted spots, it'll be on our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is iGive Do You. 
Uh, and we appreciate any feedback or additional videos that you think would be helpful. And we thank you very much for coming to this webinar. That is all I have on our agenda. If we, we have a question, we have a question from John. Uh, John says uh, he's not a Facebook user. Um, have we set up any alternatives um, for submitting a pay it forward story? Um, at the original thinking was that it would only be a Facebook campaign, but I think we may be able to handle uh, stories. I'm sorry, my brain just went to a, a, a quiet place. <laughs> you can submit a story as a ticket. So as a as as you would normally put, oh, I have this question, can you help? You can create a new ticket and instead let us know that you have a story you'd like to share. And again, we would, um, based on how many we get, we will be sharing them to our Facebook page. Um, and we'll probably also be creating a newsletter so that so some stories can be highlighted to all of our members. So share your story with us and we'll do our best to get the word out. Sally asks, um, how often should she uh, share the I Give opportunity with, with her, you know, the other folks, I assume, who, who support her cause? That's a great question. Um, the more frequent, the better, <laughs> is, is obviously the marketing answer. Um, I, I am a fan of using your judgment. Uh, we do have opportunities to share automatically and we stagger them by once a week, once a month, uh, when something specific like getting a check happens. So I would highly recommend that as you use iGive and you find personally that there is a benefit to you, maybe you book a trip and want to share how much you earned for your cause because you booked your trip um, and how easy it was. Or like I mentioned, my ordering contact lenses. That's something I do every year. And I am a big fan of why not help, why not ensure that that will support my theater company every time I do that. So if having a reason almost as frequently as you talk about your cause, which I'm sure you are passionate about, why not include the I give opportunity? So our last question comes from Shanitha, who, who says, how is I give different than Amazon? That is also a great question. Um, Amazon is, it's, uh, you, you may be referring to Amazon Smile, uh, which is sort of their own donation program. Uh, they, the idea is similar in that you spend money buying things and a portion of what you spent benefits your cause. So in that way, they are the same. Uh, they are different because a purchase at Amazon is not an iGift purchase, uh, but a purchase at Travelocity or Orbitz or the 2,300 other stores we have will benefit your cause. And there's also um, one of the differences that we think is very important is the uh, percentage of money donated. I believe Amazon Smile uh, is a 0.5% donation. And as you may recall from that home page, uh, the average I give donation is much higher than that. 2% um, for, I'm a tea fanatic, so 2% when I order my tea. Um, if you buy shoes or contacts, that's 2%, 3.6%. So the the amount that can be earned is significantly higher. Um, and that's that's the difference we think is the most important. Uh, and on top of that, of course, is the ability to know uh, who supported your cause. So you can thank people individually um, if they've used any one of those 2,300 uh, different stores to support your charity or cause. Well, with that, um, we've used our 30 minutes of time. Thank you so very much for sharing your uh, 
your day with us. Uh, if you do have further questions, um, support.igive.com is your friend. Kim, anything else you'd like to close with? No, everybody have a safe and happy Halloween if you celebrate. And stay warm if you're anywhere where you'll get snow, which I'm in Chicago and, and we don't know what's going to happen. So. <laughs> well, thank you all.